Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over prone press ups for acute disc herniations. Welcome to the Body Shop Physical Therapy. I'm Dr. Katherine Price, and I'm a physical therapist. I'm going to share with you something that I observed over the years and have thought about when addressing acute disc herniations. A lot of times back extensions are used to help alleviate the symptoms and pain that occur with disc herniations. And one common reason for low back pain and pain that radiates into the legs is the source being coming from the disc. So if you're addressing your disc, if you know that you have a disc herniation, it is not uncommon to use back extensions to treat this. So please consult your medical doctor or physical therapist for the appropriateness of exercises for you. If your disc is injured in your low back, discogenic pain can occur. That is where the pain radiates into the buttocks, and if it goes out to press on the nerve root, that is when you can get pain down the back of the leg. You do not want to do any exercises that will provoke pain that goes down the legs. So when you're doing back extensions, one of the things that is common is to press straight up and compress the back even more. So I wanna show you how you can better do your prone press ups in order to address the disc herniation. When you're lying on your stomach, a lot of times back extensions are prescribed when the disc is herniated. And this is where you're gonna press up and come right back down and press up. If your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, that puts a lot of compression on the low back, and it actually can hurt in the low back, but it can help with the symptoms down the back of the leg. So that is what you want, but you want to try to minimize the compression on that disc material, even if you are trying to move the material in the correct direction, which is usually forward. Discs are usually going to herniate backward. So instead of pressing straight up with the hands underneath the shoulders, you want the hands out in front. So if your hands out in front, you can press up, you're not gonna get as much compression in the low back and you're still pushing the disc material in the direction that you want it to go in order to alleviate the symptoms. So pressing up with the arms in front is going to be a better way to get what you are working on without compressing the low back. So again, it is not uncommon to do prone press ups, but I try to avoid putting the hands directly under the shoulders, placing them out in front, and then pressing up. Another thing that you can do if you're still having pain with the press ups in the back, but it's helping with your symptoms, you can try squeezing your buttocks and then pressing up. So that's gonna support the back and you're gonna get the movement while you are supporting the back. So it's another tool that you can use is to squeeze your buttocks while you're doing the prone press ups. Now to make further make the prone press up an effective exercise to treat a disc herniation, you can start with a release. And the release is going to be on the abdominal. So what you wanna do is you wanna find your ribs, go right below the ribs, and we're gonna work on both sides. I will take the size of a softball, and I'll place it just below my rib on the rectus abdominal muscle, and then I'm just gonna let my body sink down into that pressure. So my hips are gonna be on the floor as best as possible, and I'm gonna just relax and hang out onto my elbows. I then want to just work my way down towards my hip region, and if I find areas that feel tender or if they feel tense, I will then go side to side, which is perpendicular to the muscle, and just release the fascia and the tension on that muscle. Once I release one side, I will place the softball size um, tool on the other side, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start just below the ribs and work my way down towards the hip area, and anywhere I feel tenderness or tension, I'm going to just rock side to side. I will spend about two minutes on each side 
after you have released the muscle tension, the trigger points in the muscle and the fascia on that front abdominal region, I'll then remove the ball, lie flat, arms out in front, keep my hips down and press up. And that may help the prone press up be a more comfortable and effective uh, exercise at that point to allow things to line and position the disc and vertebrae more optimally in order to get the most out of the prone press up exercise. So again, if you have an acute disc herniation and can conservatively manage your low back with exercises, it is not uncommon to use back extension exercises to manage this. And one of the exercises is a prone press up, but a lot of times folks will put their hands underneath their shoulders, press up, it compresses the back. You wanna take your hands, place them out in front and press up here and then squeeze your buttocks if that helps to make the back more comfortable. So arms are in front, butt is squoze, and then pressing straight up, and then you can release the abdominals, the rectus abdominal muscle with a softball size ball prior to doing the prone press up. And that just allows, I think, for a more effective back extension approach to helping with acute disc herniations. I hope this is of help. Have a blessed day. Thank you.